When I first heard that the Lincoln Navigator was getting a turbocharged V6 engine instead of a V8, I thought that was crazy. I mean, the Navigator, like its cousin over at Ford, the Expedition, it's always had a V8. It's always been about huge, over-the-top luxury for people who don't give a rip about gas mileage. Now, after actually driving the thing with the EcoBoost V6 in it for 2015, I've got to say good job, Lincoln, because I just didn't realize what an awesome engine this would be. It makes more power than the V8 did last year with 380 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. And it feels and sounds an awful lot like a V8 to me with tons of low-end grunt and a deliciously deep, throaty exhaust note. Now, I can't mention the Navigator without mentioning its arch nemesis, the Cadillac Escalade, which has an all-new design for 2015. It's making the Navigator show its age a bit, especially on the outside body panels and to a lesser extent with the interior quality. But one thing that surprised me is that even after the new Caddy came out, I think the Navigator still rides better over the road. It feels softer and smoother than the Escalade to me, at least compared to the version I tested. I spent a lot of highway time in it, and I just loved that silky, squishy suspension setup in the Navigator. Pricing starts at $61,920, which, believe it or not, is starting to look like a bargain these days. The new Escalade starts over $10,000 more, and the Toyota Land Cruiser I drove a few months ago starts almost twenty grand more than that. These prices are really getting out of hand in this category. So while it's not the newest kit on the block, the turbocharged engine in the Navigator and the super soft, supple ride both work together to keep it competitive for those folks who need a luxurious, roomy SUV in 2015.